Welcome to the Baked Alaskan. Well, I have some really, really shitty news. My surgery was canceled today, and um, I'm pretty upset. There's no date. There's no date. Um, for a reschedule at this point because of COVID-19 um, and I understand why but ugh, I was don't stick your butthole in front of the camera I understand why but I was uh, I've been working towards this for months I've uh or my whole life. I mean, this is really not the video I wanted to make. But he knows that I don't feel good. And he's just trying to make me feel better. So I respect that. But it is kind of annoying. Anyways. Um. I've been working towards this for months, and just lay down. I um haven't eaten in. Right, ow! <laughs> I hadn't eaten in two weeks until tonight, and I went out for a big, fat, juicy steak and I gotta tell you it wasn't great but it was food and you know chewing is awesome chewing is really awesome ding um uh, uh so I've had a really rough day. I've had a good cry. Um, taking some shit online. Giving some shit back. Uh, had to say goodbye to my family early. Because of the COVID-19 as well. And the border situation. Um... And I'm just really hoping they get home safely. So I'm stressed about that. It's just... It should have been a great day. It really should have been a great day. But... We... Will all get through this. I mean... And I'll just have to do it again. You know, like everybody says, you did it once, you can do it again. Well, you know what? That's great. Shut the fuck up. You didn't do it, I did. And it was horrible. You know, it's, it's one thing for somebody with no taste to have to drink these horrible shakes. You know, but like, I am a Lake Cordon Blue chef. I'm, I don't mean to be like an asshole here, but I know what gourmet food tastes like. And not being able to eat anything was really horrible. And it wasn't that I wanted to gorge myself. I just wanted to chew and have flavor and salt and you know like instead I get this sickeningly sweet chalky ass almost slimy shake bullshit 
I didn't eat for 14 days. They told me this afternoon my surgery was less than 24 hours away. I spent $160 on this special diet that they made me take for the surgery specifically. Not to lose weight, but to shrink my liver so that the surgery would be more easy. Uh, the lo weight loss is just a bonus. But... Not, not getting that money back. You know, <laughs> it's like, hey, here, have two weeks of misery in a package by Nestle and pay 160 bucks for it. It'll be fun, they said. I don't know. I'm really bitter right now, guys. This has been really difficult for me. It's been devastating is the only word, but I've been devastated so many times in my life that this is just, you know, it's a kick in the vag, but we all knew something was going to happen, like, with the way... This virus is going. So everybody tells me it's probably for the best. You know, like at least I'll be safe. Uh, safer from the virus with my MS. And <clears throat> my immune system being lowered by surgery. I don't really give a shit. I really don't, like, I don't want to say it like that, but this just wasn't even on my radar. Nobody could have predicted this. And, uh, I'm struggling. But, um, I'm pretty high right now. My back's been killing me lately because of, like, yesterday. We tore my bedroom apart. And cleaned my kitchen. And we did a lot yesterday. And the day before that, we did a lot. And the weekend before that, we did a lot. And it just, um, it just adds up for me. Uh, I wish I could be like a quote-unquote normie, but, um, I have the MS, and it fucks with my energy big time. And my stamina big time, so. Anyways. All that doesn't really matter. I will continue to do weight loss Wednesday. I will continue to endeavor to share more stuff about bariatric surgery, about the surgery process, about the recovery process. And um, maybe by the time I'm done with that, I'll actually get to have the surgery. All right, everybody. Take care of yourselves out there. And be well.